The more rewarding parts of trucking for me are definitely that it pays well. The over the road part, I get to see family, got to see my, my parents and some old friends. You know, I got family in Rhode Island and where I was living, where I originally got my CDL. I also like up in upstate New York, you know, Rochester, things like that. So, I mean, that's, that's the biggest rewarding part of it. And also getting to see different parts of the country. I do a lot of motorcycle riding, like cross country motorcycle riding too. And a lot of the routes that I see when I'm driving the truck, I'm always thinking, I try to remember it. And that way I know, oh, maybe sometime I'll schedule home time and do a trip on a motorcycle over here. Originally I got into trucking, I was doing automotive work right before trucking and then I moved cross country. And it was kind of accidentally where I worked for a local alcohol distribution company and they helped me get my CDL uh, for free with you know no strings attached, I didn't have to contract to them or anything. Because that was in 2019 that I got my CDL and then I had been planning on going o over the road eventually. And then uh, COVID hit my paychecks, I wasn't getting hours anymore. I was hourly pay, local driving. So then it kind of just accelerated me getting going you know, over the road. So my first year of trucking, I did Northeast Regional. Uh, I did a lot of driving through the biggest cities in the country, and then obviously in the Northeast, New York City, Boston, all, all those. And I originally was sold one package of, oh, you, you'll drive and get home every weekend. I thought it'd be a good way to, to dip my feet into over the road and see if I liked trucking. It became clear very quickly that, yeah, I could get home every weekend, but my paychecks would be not even enough to justify everything I had gone through to get my CDL. And then the amount of money I made just in the year I've been here is, it, the most money I've made in a single year anywhere, in any job I've ever had. And it is and it is rewarding. The job itself isn't as complicated as a lot of maybe other truckers like to make it seem, but it is a lot more difficult than I think anyone who's never done over the road driving realizes it can be. It's a lot more taxing on your energy. It's not like hopping in and driving a car for a few hours. It's driving a, you know, 80,000 pound vehicle for half, or more of the day, you know? So it, it taxes your, your energy and things like that. My orientation was fairly small, but when I was talking with a couple of the other guys in my orientation, we were all just in shock. Right away, I noticed the difference in, uh, believe it or not, the quality of hotel room <laughs> that they put us in. My previous company would get the very cheapest, dirtiest, nastiest hotel they could find to put us in. So I was kind of like expecting that coming over here. I think we had all just been abused by, by our previous company because we all had about the same amount of experience. So we were coming out of our first year of driving. But no, when we when we got in, when we saw like the shuttle and when we saw the facility itself and you know, they started talking about just how everything goes in orientation as far as, you know, courtesy vehicles and all the, a lot of the stuff is like very basic, but they also, the way they, the transparency with how we're paid and how we qualify for different types of accessorial pay was, was a big positive for us. You know, we, we were all just kind of in shock and, and like, wow, you know, and all the equipment that we would see when we all got assigned our trucks the first day, it's like, oh, wow, you know, these are nice, they take good care of their equipment and they give us clean equipment to work with. When I need something, you know, I, I ask, and especially if my dispatcher needs a favor, I don't, if he says, hey, can you do me a favor? I don't ask, what is it? I'm like, immediately, I'm like, yes. Because if I need a favor, it's kind of the same thing. They're, they're like, well, what do you, you know, what is it? It's not the same experience for everybody. When you, when you find a dispatcher that you get along with well and you guys work together well you communicate well then it'll be it's a world of difference it's a give and take the company definitely prioritizes drivers but we're also not infallible i think that's the important thing to remember is this is a business after all and there's a give and take when it comes to what i need and want and what the company needs and wants
you know, the needs need to be addressed first and then our wants can be addressed secondary. And if I'm getting everything I want and the company's not getting everything they want, that's not a good relationship and vice versa. One of the biggest things I've, I've noticed here is that my efforts don't go unnoticed. If you're the type of driver who wants to work hard, when need be, run your clock into the dirt, you'll make good money here, generally. And a lot of that depends on the dispatcher, but I think the biggest you know, positive is that if you have an issue, your voice is heard. Either your dispatcher directly, or if your dispatcher's not handling it, you take it up the command chain and you will handle it. You just have to handle it civilly. You know, you can't, can't yell and cuss and expect to get, you know, what you need out of it. But the biggest piece that, to me is, is that if I have an issue, I know that I can talk to someone in the company with whatever issue I'm having and we'll generally come to a resolution.